20 years ago, to this day, Dust 2 was added to Counter-Strike as part of the 1.1 patch. This came out alongside Inferno and Vertigo, along with some new features that are still around today like a spectator mode and non-lethal AWP leg shots. To celebrate 20 years, I'll be hosting a load of Dust-related maps on my servers. I've got videos dedicated to Dust 2's story already, but to sum it up, it started life as Dust 3 because Dave didn't deem it to be good enough to be a sequel to Dust 1. He sort of made it to prove that Dust 1 was just a lucky one-off. He made the map, then secretly released it on a new site called Game Helper and thought that would be the end of it. But it quickly became the most popular map ever. The first of the maps hosted on the server is Dust 2 in the old 1.6 style, complete with slightly disgusting greeny yellow lighting. This is based on a version that Valve made for CSGO a few years ago to celebrate the game's 20th anniversary. But I've remained more faithful to the original by changing the lighting, and by adding decals, more accurate texture alignment, and the original skybox. It's pixelated by today's standards. Which is why I'll also be hosting an upscaled version, where I went around making everything higher res. It also has friendlier, warmer lighting, and is the version of the map I'd personally choose if I want to relive the 1.6 glory days in the least visually painful way possible. I have a whole video discussing this upscaled version, which comes with more side-by-side -side comparisons if you're interested. Next up are older source-based versions of Dust 2. You can see this one here from Counter-Strike Source, and here's the old CSGO version, which was in the game before October 2017, which was when the newer version took over. I could have stopped there, but I didn't. I'm also hosting a few of Henge's maps, the first of these being Dust 1 but in Dust 2 style. This map was always very CT-sided, even after Valve made a few changes to the map for CSGO. So it looks like he's gone and made a few more changes to it again, around the underpass region. Now this map might not be Dust 1 as it used to be, but it might play a hell better. And the second of Henge's maps is Mirust, which is Mirage in Dust 2 style. A match made in heaven, I'm sure you'll agree. And last, Dust PCG, which was a third Dust map made by David Johnston for a two-episode article on how to make a Counter-Strike map, which was featured in the PC Gamer magazine back in 2005. I fished these out and had a trip down memory lane. When this came out, Dust 2 felt old. But now I look back and there were only four years between Dust 2 and Dust PCG, and 16 years between PCG and now. According to this, there are three copies of PC Gamer magazines hidden around the map, with two being fairly easy to find, but the third requiring you to go into spectator mode. I don't remember seeing these when I ported the map across, but they might still be there somewhere. I'll be honest, this map had major balancing issues as well. As well as porting it across to CSGO, I also spent a bit of time adjusting this map to make it look and play better, and I'll be hosting this version on the servers as well. It seems a shame that he went to all the effort of making another dust map, but then fell just short of something playable because one team spawned a little too closely to the bomb sites. to be fair. If you'd like to know anything else about dust, then check out Dave Johnston's blog, where he talks about the stories behind the maps he worked on. There's even a new blog post from about a month ago, where he talks about the moment he gave up the dream of becoming a level designer. Spoiler. It was before he made Dust 2.